Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play an extremely interesting game where we will need to escape from this giant scary tree. It looks like we've reached mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> this tree really does look gigantic. Oh my god, it looks like we're going to have to climb right into its mouth to start our journey. It looks like we're falling somewhere. Oh my god, we've entered some kind of portal, and it looks like we're right inside this tree now. Okay, now we'll need to find a way out of here. Okay, now we need to run along these weird sticks, and then we need to run towards this weirdest pie. Oh my god, I think the platforms in this game were designed by some weirdest person. Where did the pie inside the tree come from? Maybe it's a reference to something, but to be honest, I have absolutely no idea what. Okay, now the main thing for us is not to step on these strange purple platforms, and then we'll go forward avoiding other purple platforms. God, this is the strangest decision to make these platforms purple. Okay, we found ourselves inside some strange plate with fruits. I don't understand what's going on in this game at all. It seems like this level was created by some extremely sick fantasy. But we just need to keep moving forward and jumping on these platforms, despite all the strangeness of this game. By the way, I like that we get to all the checkpoints here as quickly as possible, and there are really quite a lot of checkpoints in this game. It seems that all these checkpoints really help us get through this whole game and keep us where we need to. It seems to me that if there were fewer checkpoints in this game, it would be much more difficult for other players to get through this game. Yes, I agree with you. There are really a lot of checkpoints in this game. It seems that this was created specifically for new players, so that it would be as easy as possible for them to complete this game. It seems to me that this game really has quite a lot of very difficult tests that we will have difficulties with. But so far, we have not died even once, and it seems to me that we will not have too many difficulties here. Now we jump over these purple stripes, and then we head straight to some strange portal. Wow, just look. This portal has taken us to the outside of this tree and now we have to move along its branches. Okay, I think it won't be that hard. Although these branches seem pretty thin to me, and if we really moved along such thin branches in real life, it would be extremely difficult for us to get to the top. Now we need to jump on these green leaves and then we will go to the next checkpoint. Okay, finally, there is variety in this game. And now we need to go along this platform without touching these strange yellow things. In general, it seems to me extremely strange that there are some yellow things on the tree. Maybe it is resin. Okay, so far we've been doing pretty well with this game. Now we need to get to the next leaves here and jump to the very top. I don't think it'll be hard either. And now we've reached the weird red apple. And now we need to wait for something. Okay, so it turns out we've been waiting for this thing to take us to another platform all this time. Oh my god, I think the game developers should have added a more obvious hint because we didn't really get it from the start. Okay, I guess at this stage it doesn't matter at all. Now we need to concentrate on passing this level without any problems. I don't think we'll have any problems in this game! In fact, despite its complexity, I think we'll get through it without making any mistakes! This game really looks very difficult, but I think it's not as difficult as it looks. We'll be able to get through it very easily. Now we have climbed up some strange stairs, and then we have to run along this very thin branch. Lord, it seems to me that this tree really has too many different thin branches. It looks like this is some kind of bush and not a tree. And now we need to use another transport thing, and I hope that we will not have any problems. It seems that we are not allowed to touch these strange pink things here. In general, it is quite strange that there are some pink things that just levitate in the air. But it seems to me that I am starting to do nonsense again and try to find logic in Roblox in which there is absolutely none. You shouldn't look for logic in Roblox. It seems to me that if we were looking for logic here, we would have questions about these blue platforms. In fact, it may seem that this is just some kind of moisture that has accumulated on these branches. 
But I think that is illogical that we cannot step on water. Now we need to run along this strange branch forward. By the way, it's pretty strange that this branch is divided into several parts. And then we go straight to some strange, huge hive. I hope we won't have problems getting through it. I think it will be as easy as possible. This hive does not look huge at all. We just need to jump on these platforms and then run on this extremely strange thin stick. In general, the choice of tests from these developers is super strange. It seems to me that all this does not look as if we are in a real hive. The developers of this game should have done a little better in the design and tests here. By the way, it's quite strange that we can't step on honey. Although it's quite possible that it's just quite viscous and we won't be able to get out of here because of it. I think that's why we shouldn't step on it. Okay, we passed through this hive and it wasn't difficult at all. I thought that we would be able to pass this test very quickly. Okay, now we need to run further. And now we will need to climb this branch straight to the top. Oh my god, the textures in this game are the worst. They are very difficult to get through because sometimes they really interfere with the view. But now, we finally got to the very top of this stick, and now it looks like we will have to go further, despite all these difficulties with textures. Although it is possible that this is some kind of complication of the game from the developers, although it looks really idiotic. Okay, let's try to get through this foliage to the very top. By the way, I can already see some extremely strange platform, and it looks like we'll have to run towards it and then climb up this extremely strange orange ladder to the top. By the way, it's very surprising that there is a ladder in this tree. Perhaps one of the other players left it. Okay, now let's jump on these weird green balls. Well, we've reached another platform and I can already see a checkpoint. Okay, now we just need to keep going forward and go through various tests. In fact, I'm already extremely tired of voicing this game. If anything, guys, this is the same editor of all these videos who voices these characters speaking to you. And to be honest, I don't even know what I should say in this game because everything that happens here is extremely monotonous. So I hope that you really appreciate my work and like this video. Bluey, I think you're talking complete nonsense. You should watch what comes out of your mouth a little better. Ha ha, actually, this is also a joke and this is also voiced by the same editor. Guys, keep watching what's happening in this game. I hope you like it. Okay, so now we have to climb up these weird brown sticks and I think I can already see the end of this game. Oh my God, it seems like we've been playing this game forever. And by the way, here again is this extremely weird foliage that we have to go through. Yes, I think we've almost reached the very end of this game. There are only a few tests left to go through before the finale, and we've already reached the penultimate checkpoint. Well, okay, now we need to jump over these blue sticks and then head straight forward to the finish line. There's just a little bit left, and we'll finally be at the finish line. Great! Finally, we've reached the very top of this tree. Well, this game was really quite difficult, but we got through it the first time, and I really enjoyed this game. Now. Let's move straight to the next game. It looks like there are now school bullies in this hallway that we'll have to beat up. It looks like our only remaining partner doesn't have any weapons with him, so we'll have to fight these bullies ourselves in order to protect him. This is very sad because it looks like this guy won't be able to fight the final boss with us. He'll just have to avoid all of his attacks. Okay, I think there's one last bully left that we need to beat up. It seems you forgot that this school bully is actually just a gym security guard and we don't even need to hit him. Okay, I think we can use the simulator now to restore our mental health. By the way, it's pretty strange that with the help of the simulator, mental health is restored here instead of increasing damage. Looks like math class has started. Right now we need to head towards that class. By the way, it's pretty weird that last time we played this game, we looked like some red creatures with black eyes. But today, we're playing it in Spider-Man skin. Okay, we are finally here, and now I think we should look for something in these boxes. But it looks like they are completely empty. Okay, apparently we will not wait for any more loot in this game. Well, now let's stay in this math lesson and restore our mental health. It looks like some kind of math test is about to start. We need to find out our grade. Wow, that's not bad. I don't think we even prepared for this lesson. But still, 
Our grade isn't terrible. And by the way, our only remaining classmate got a terrible grade on the test. I hope he doesn't get punished by his parents for this. Okay, I think the lesson is over now, which means we can leave this classroom right now. Wait! Oh no! Those school bullies have appeared in the hallway again. We'll have to fight them again. I think there are even more of them this time. I hope they won't hurt our natural classmate too much. Actually, beating up these high school kids isn't that hard. It's enough to just run around them and hit them with this crowbar because their turning speed is too slow. Just look! Our classmate is running away from this guy. But I think we can save him from all these high school kids. Great! Now I think we should find something else to do. We won't have time to do anything else. Now we need to run to the chemistry class and start the lesson. By the way, just look. There are a huge number of multicolored flasks on the table. It looks like we'll have to make some strange potion today. Okay, let's try to do it. There is some kind of hint drawn on the board, but to be honest, I absolutely do not understand what order of actions should be in order for us to mix this potion. Okay, we didn't manage to do it on the first try. I think we need to guess the perfect combination after which this potion will not explode. Maybe there are some clues here somewhere? But to be honest, it seems to me that the periodic table that is on that wall can't help us at all. That's why we need to do it at random. By the way, just look. We just managed to guess the correct sequence of three flasks. Now we need to try to mix several flasks so that they don't explode. And I think that we are already as close as possible to the correct answer. Huh, great. Finally, we managed to do it. Now we got some kind of potion, and it is quite possible that we will be able to use it in the future. But for now, we can't do absolutely anything. Okay, I think it's time to finish this lesson so that we can move on. Let's head to the hallway right now, and I can already see new school bullies. Looks like we're going to have to fight them again. There are actually quite a few of these guys here. We need to beat them up so we can continue playing this game. By the way, it looks like there are three of them here. Okay, our friend hid in this locker and that's how he escaped from these bullies. Okay, now it looks like we need to head to that detention class again. I really hope that this time we won't have any difficulty escaping from this creepy blue hair because last time I was really afraid that we wouldn't be able to escape from him. I hope this time we won't have such a problem. We can just have our punishment and go home. Okay. It looks like we stayed in this class until the evening. Well, now the windows are boarded up. It looks like this was done so that we could not escape from this class. But this is a rather strange measure, because I think that with the help of a crowbar, these boards can be very easily broken and open the windows. In principle, this was logical, but it seems that in this game, it works completely differently. I hope this guy doesn't suddenly appear here because I'm getting really scared. I remember how creepy his face is and I wouldn't want to meet him again. But it also looks like I think we'll have to open the door and try to escape from here through the main exit. I hope this guy doesn't see us and doesn't chase us. Yes, this guy is really scary as hell. But I think we can still escape from him because we're almost out of here. Oh no, it's that same blue hair and it looks like he's coming our way. Okay, I managed to hide in the locker, but it looks like he was able to scare our friend really badly, which is why he started taking damage. Okay, I hope he can restore his health and we can continue our escape from here. Okay, I can already see the exit door, and it looks like we'll finally be able to escape from here. Oh my god, I feel like I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, and I hope that this really is our last escape from this school. Oh no, someone closed the gate. Oh my god, it's that same blue hair, and he's running towards us now. Oh no, it looks like this is the end. Okay, this guy came running here, and it looks like now we are waiting for the final meeting with him. God, I really don't want to fight against him because it seems to me that this guy is really very strong. In general, in principle, fighting against a robot is not a very good idea because he is absolutely not afraid of pain. Well, it looks like we'll have to try to break him somehow. He wants to fight us to the death. But this guy probably doesn't know that we're professionals in passing such games, 
and we've already killed a huge number of bosses. Oh no, just look. It looks like this boss has some special attacks. Well, I think we'll have to fight him ourselves because this guy has absolutely no weapons and he won't be able to resist this boss. It looks like this boss has several types of attacks. And now we have to study how he attacks so that we can find the right moments to run up to him and damage him. It looks like sometimes he throws dynamite and sometimes he burrows underground. And while there tries to get to one of the players, oh no. By the way, here is the third type of attack. And it looks like he just stands in one place and starts spinning so that a tornado is created that damages all surrounding players. Okay, this guy won't be easy to kill, but it will be even harder to kill him solely because we will have to attack him alone. This guy really scares me a lot, but I know for sure that I have to kill him today because we have been playing this game for a really long time and we cannot lose at the very end of this game. We decided to speed up this final fight because it was very long and boring. We had to attack this boss ourselves because our ally had no weapon. And in general, this ally could not avoid all the attacks of this boss, and because of this, he lost. So we decided to speed up the whole process of the battle with this boss for you, because it lasted really long, and we did the same type of actions. Oh my god, we finally did it! I can't even believe that we finally managed to defeat this boss! It was really extremely long, but nevertheless, we managed to complete this game. In fact, I really, really like this game, because it had a huge number of different interesting tests that are not in other games. And now our character will run towards the house and we will go straight to the next game. It looks like you and I turned into Spider-Man instead of those weird red creatures today. Okay, that looks really unusual, but it looks like that's what we'll have to put up with today. In fact, it's much cooler than being weird red creatures that look terrible. And by the way, today we'll be escaping from this creepy toy store again. Well, this is one of my favorite games. Okay, let's start the walkthrough. It's good that we've played this game several times and we already know perfectly well what we need to do here. To be honest, I still can't quite get used to our new appearance. It really looks very unusual. I hope that our appearance will not greatly affect our skill in playing this game. I don't think it can affect anything. At least it never affected our skill. And in general, it's extremely cool. Just think about it. You and I turned into different Spider-Men. I totally agree with you. This is really awesome. And when we finish playing this game, we'll have to check. Maybe we've got these cool superpowers? I think we can only dream about this. Okay, let's start going through this labyrinth. And by the way, Mr. Fun will appear here very soon. But for me, he appears most unexpectedly all the time. I'm very afraid of him. And here comes Mr. Funny, and he's running after us right now. Lord, I'm so scared of him, especially his glowing green eyes and very creepy gait. I really don't want to stop. But it's good that I actually remember where the exit is, and it won't be hard for me to escape from here. It seems to me that somewhere around here we should soon see red arrows. And here they are. Excellent. This means that the exit is already very close. Lord, this guy was as close as possible to us. We managed to escape from him. Well, okay, now we need to jump on these platforms and then we will go straight to the next test. If conveyor belts constantly pissed me off, I am very much irritated by the speed with which they move because it is very difficult to stand on them. Okay, now we will need to complete this rather simple game. The main thing is not to move at the moment when this scary doll is turned to face us. By the way, we have never lost this test. It is really quite easy. It is good that there is a huge indicator on top that tells us when we need to stop and when we can run. And it is also very funny that this guy constantly has different intervals between turning his head. And now we are heading straight to a very dark place with lasers. We need to get past these lasers without touching them. In fact, it is extremely cool that these lasers do not kill us, but only damage us because this test for beginners will really be quite difficult. But we knew very well the route we needed to take, and therefore, 
Getting to this elevator was absolutely no problem for us. We finally got to the next challenge, but here we have to wait a little bit for it to start, because apparently there is a cleaning going on in this place now after this giant robot corrupted everything there last time. By the way, it is quite funny that there is a timer here. It is good that there is no queue of other players who would be waiting for the end of this timer together with us. Okay, we finally waited for this test to begin. It's going to start right now. In fact, we also know very well how we need to pass this test. The main thing now is to take a position with which we can begin to build a very long route for this robot. He'll have to break a really huge number of different blocks in order to get to us. So this guy will appear here right now. Okay. Now we need to stand here so that he has to break a huge number of different blocks. Because of this, we are stretching out time a lot and it takes him a really long time to get to us. By the way, 40 seconds is a really long time to hold out in this test. Good thing we only have 20 seconds left to hold out here and this guy hasn't even broken half of these blocks. Okay, I think we're actually doing a pretty good job of holding this guy off so he can't get to us. Just look at this stupid robot. He's really trying to break all the blocks one by one. But he definitely won't be able to get to us because we calculated everything so well. Okay, now we can run straight to the next test. This guy really made a big mess here. And now I understand why the preparation for the next round and these tests take so long. It looks like one of the blocks blocked our way. It's good that there was a small gap through which we were still able to get here, because otherwise we would have had to run away from this robot a second time, and it would have been a really long and tedious task. And now we've reached some very dark warehouse. I think it would be a great idea to turn on the flashlight here. Although in fact, with the help of this flashlight, we can accidentally summon this evil doll. So I think that we can basically go through all this on our own without the help of a flashlight and then go straight into this incomprehensible ventilation. In fact, it wasn't really ventilation. Rather, it was just a continuation of the conveyor belt. Okay, and now we've reached the location where we'll have to ride this forklift. I'm generally amazed by the size of this storage room in the toy store. Is it really that huge? And what is Lava doing in the Toy Store warehouse anyway? This has always been a rather strange question for me. I really hope that someday the day will come when you stop looking for logic in Roblox. I think you should just continue to enjoy the process of passing this game and forget about all the logical things that should be here. By the way, these forklift races are also quite strange because it seems to me that such a heavy small car cannot jump over a ramp. Okay. I think you're right, and we should just continue to play this game the same way we've always played it. By the way, we've already completed these forklift races, and now we've reached the fourth test in this game. By the way, to be honest, it's always really pissed me off. Now we need to jump right into this pipe, and then we will start to pass this stupid test. It also really annoys me because of this side view. Wait, what is going on here? Is it just me, or was the head of this doll moving too fast? In general, as far as I remember, in this test, there should be blocks that we should touch with our heads, because of which there will be an explosion, and this guy will be thrown back. Wait, I don't get it. Why does this game really not have these things? I think the developers forgot to add them. Maybe there is some kind of bug in this game, but we won't be able to get further in this challenge. What are we supposed to do here? I think we should try jumping into this pipe again. Maybe these things will start appearing, but for me, it really seems extremely strange. Similar developers really don't care about this game, and they decided to simply remove these blocks. I don't think these things will start appearing. Most likely some kind of bug really happened in this game that doesn't allow us to complete this game. God, this really irritates me. I was really hoping that today I would be able to complete this game completely. Looks like today we still have no chance to beat this game because these blocks don't appear and this head really moves too fast. Looks like the developers really broke something in their game. Well, for that reason, I think we should stop trying to beat this game and go straight to the next game we wanted to play right now. Great idea, Bingo. I think that's exactly what we'll do. 
Let's do it right now. Is this really our favorite game? Well, okay, let's not linger and just start running forward. I hope we'll do great in this game. I don't think you should even doubt it. Okay, well, let's just keep running. We have already played this game a lot of times, but today we had a desire to try to play it again because this game is really one of the most interesting in Roblox. Okay, now we jump down. And now we will need to run along these pipes so as not to fall into this giant toothy mouth. By the way, I was always amazed by the fact that we can calmly jump on these balls and they don't even burst. So we got to the next location. Now the main thing is not to accidentally touch this flame because it will burn us and we will die. Don't worry. I definitely won't make this mistake because I've already passed this level and I know the timings by which to move forward. Okay, it was pretty easy for me. And now the main thing is to run through these pipes. It seems to me that there are already too many games in Roblox that you can easily complete with your eyes closed. Okay, now run through this pipe so that these clown hands can't grab you. This test is also quite easy because the main thing here is to remember the timings, and I remember them perfectly. Okay, now we need to jump on these pipes and then we will go up this giant spiral strange staircase. I've always been really surprised by this staircase shape in this game. Is it really convenient for someone to climb up it? Okay, I think we definitely won't have problems with this because such stairs are found in a huge number of Roblox modes and we are already masters at climbing them. And now we need to run along this very thin pipe and then we will go to the next room. By the way, walking along this thin pipe always scared me a lot because I was afraid that it might break, but it seems to me that this cannot happen in this game. Yes! I think if it could happen, then it would definitely happen during one of those times when we go through this game. Okay, now we have added to the next location, and this is the room with circular saws. In fact, it is not so difficult to pass by them because you can go past them from the side instead of waiting for them to disappear each time. By the way, we finally got to the Ferris wheel and now this scary clown with a knife has appeared here again. In fact, it is not that difficult to run around this clown. We just had to run around him and climb onto this platform in order to jump from it into the Ferris wheel carriage. Okay, now we need to go up. Wait, what's going on? Is it just me or is this game lagging? I hope it's not our computer that's having problems, but the server of this game. Okay, running away from this clown turned out to be quite an easy challenge. Now we need to get to this wooden platform and then run forward along this wooden bridge that doesn't inspire confidence at all. Well, yes, moving on these wooden planks is really extremely scary. It seems to me that it is physically impossible to build such a strange wooden bridge. Someone must fall down from it. Okay. Now we jumped on these balloons, and now we will go down on this free fall attraction. Okay, now we need to go to the very bottom. By the way, I was always scared by the fact that there is lava at the very bottom of this attraction. It's good that this attraction doesn't touch it. Otherwise, we would definitely burn. Okay, now we need to run forward, and now we will need to pass these tests with spears and sharp blades that fall down. This test is actually not the easiest because here you also need to know the timings. Okay, now we just need to run forward and then we will need to go across this bridge where there are two huge swinging maces on chains. I hope that we will pass them with ease. That was pretty easy too. Okay, and now we need to move on. And now we'll jump into this orange portal from which we'll go straight to some extremely strange dimension. Here we'll need to cross this bridge and then we'll go and take the next tests. I was always extremely scared to jump over this bridge because the planks on it are too narrow. Okay, now we'll run further. Now we need to run along these rusty platforms so that these fiery things don't burn us alive. In general, these fiery things have always scared and confused me because I don't understand what this is at all. Yes. These flamethrowers look pretty weird, and it's not clear how they work at all. But I think looking for logic in this game is absolutely pointless, because this is Roblox, and there is nothing logical here. Okay, we ran to the next yellow portal, and now this portal will speed us up as much as possible. In fact, this is my favorite part of this game, because here we run at a very high speed, and I really like it very much. Yes, 
I am also very inspired by how we passed this test because I really love high speed. It's a pity that this test turned out to be quite short. Okay, now we need to run to this blue portal that will increase our jump height. This is also a pretty interesting boost, but unfortunately, this boost will not stay with us forever. Now we need to jump on these platforms in order to get to the very top of the tower. In fact, I like the boost from the yellow portal more than the boost from the blue one because I like running at high speed much more than jumping high. And also, this test seems to me longer than the previous one because here, we really have to try for a very long time. It's good that we are given the opportunity to use the yellow portal again in order to jump into this volcano with a running start and end up right in front of the creepy clown's house. We finally got to this creepy house. In fact, the tests inside this house are also quite difficult, but they are justifiably difficult because these are the last tests in this game. And in fact, I have never seen a test like this test with these purple stripes on the floor. It seems to me that this test is really quite difficult because the viewing angle is very distorted here. By the way, we rarely managed to pass this test on the first try, but today is the day when we were able to do it. Now we need to run past these strange traps that look like a silver crown, and then we will go to the next tests. This test also really pisses me off because in it, everything really moves extremely unpredictably. I think you'll be able to pass this test on the first try too. All that's left is to get past these rotating glow sticks and we'll find ourselves in the last test before the final scene in this game. Cool, finally we got further. Now we will need to run along this strange red yellow conveyor belt so as not to crash into these translucent walls. In fact, this test is not as difficult as it may seem. It can be passed if you use our life hack when you switch to the camera from the side. And now we're running straight to the final scene. Here we'll need to get on this roller coaster and then we'll go forward. By the way, I always thought it was extremely strange that only one car works in this roller coaster because usually there should be several. Okay, now let's ride this attraction. I'd really like to ride something like this in real life, but I wouldn't want this attraction to end the way it does in this game. Eh, cool, now we'll just ride forward. By the way, this roller coaster is really very extreme. It seems to me that if it was a whole attraction, it would be the coolest. But unfortunately, it wasn't finished here. But precisely because it wasn't finished, we'll be able to jump using this ramp and find ourselves outside this carnival. Well, I really like this game. Now let's move straight on to the next game. Actually, it's not really a school. It's more like an academy. And now we're told that we need to look for items in the lockers. Okay, let's see what's here and what we can get here. We found some bananas, coffee, and some other food. Okay, I don't know why we might need all this. And by the way, besides all this, we also found a sledgehammer and money. I wonder why we might need money in this game. 20 bucks to get into a gym? This guy is seriously crazy. Okay, I think we should go somewhere else and maybe someday we'll give him the 20 bucks. Looks like math class is starting. Right now we need to go there and apparently we'll start studying there. And by the way, in these classrooms, there are also various lockers with items in them. Okay, the main thing is not to forget about this and always loot all the lockers in the new classrooms we enter. Okay. We sat down at the desk, drank our morning coffee, and right now we can start getting all the knowledge. By the way, having a snack, I think would not be superfluous either. Okay, let's just sit and get the knowledge that this teacher gives us. I don't want to sit in this class anymore. I'm already tired of everything here. Please let us out. We want to see what else is in this school. Oh, it seems to me that the lesson is finally over and we can go out. Now we can go to the cafeteria and buy food here. But I don't really see the point because we already have enough items in our inventory that can restore our health. So I think we'll still save up money to pay this bully so he can let us into the gym. By the way, the reading lesson has started, and right now, we need to get to the classroom where this lesson is taking place. By the way, just look. In this classroom, there is even a cage with a very cute hamster. 
It would be great if we could somehow feed it or something like that. Well, okay. Now we need to take our place and start gaining new knowledge. It's quite strange that we have a lesson with a teacher who is extremely silent. I think that these guys should at least start saying something because it seems to me that we are not getting any knowledge at all. Finally, this lesson is over and we can go about our business. I think now we should figure out where it would be better for us to go. Oh no, it looks like we're being sent to detention class now. I wonder what we did that was so bad that we were all sent here. It looks like we got into a fight with some player and now we are here because of it. Oh, it looks like our punishment is over. And now they are showing us some book that describes the mascot of this school. It looks like this guy is really dangerous. They say that this guy likes to play. And it seems that every time the school day ends, he becomes kind of angry or something like that. I really hope that he won't scare us in this game because this guy's face really does look extremely scary. Okay, it looks like our punishment is over now and we need to escape from this school. But it's pretty weird that there's absolutely no one in this school. In general, it seems extremely weird to me to stay at school until dark because usually no one spends time at school for that long. Wait, what is this? There are some locks or something hanging on the door. It looks like now we need to find three keys to open this door. Wait, what? Looks like some lasers have appeared here, and now we need to explore this location in search of keys. Okay, I hope our teammates won't stand AFK and actually help us find these keys because I would like to run home as soon as possible. Look, other players are already starting to find keys. It looks like they don't need our help anymore today. Yes, all the players have found all the keys. Okay, now we can finally go home. Finally, we're escaping this school. Oh my God, this school day was really tough. Okay, well I guess right now it's time to move straight on to the second day of school. Okay, I think now we should continue our training. And by the way, it's great that we haven't seen this school mascot yet. And by the way, it seems to me that nothing new is added to these boxes. I hope that the loot in these boxes would be updated every day. Okay, the computer science class has started and we've come to the computer lab. Well, let's use the computer. And by the way, it looks like there's some kind of game waiting for us here. It's called Music Lockers. Okay, I think we'll be able to play this game. And by the way, we can earn $20 in it to give to the school bully so he can let us into the gym. We earned a whole $27. This means that in addition to the $20 that we needed to give to the school bully, we still have money to buy ourselves new items. Okay, so now we need to wait until the computer class is over and then we'll go straight to the gym. Finally, we can pay him this money. Although in fact it seems to me that it is unfair that we should pay him money. After all, this guy absolutely does not deserve it. Okay. By the way, it seems that with the help of these simulators, we can restore our mental health. And by the way, there is also a crowbar here that we just picked up. Wait, what's going on? We're sitting in the cafeteria right now and someone is really actively pounding on the door. Wow, just look. It looks like a football team and they look really angry. Apparently, they want to beat us up. In fact, I would really like to know the reason why they came here and apparently we will find out right now. These guys look very angry and it looks like someone stole something from this guy's locker. Okay, it looks like a big fight is about to start because of this. Just look at how many of these guys there are. Okay, now I think we need to get our weapons and start fighting them. But it will be really quite difficult because there are three of them attacking one person. And it will be very difficult for me to defend myself against them. This fight really lasted for a very long time. And we specially sped it up for you because it was very difficult for us to fight against them with just a crowbar. After all, we didn't have a single shooting weapon. It looks like after the fight with these football players, very few players survived. It looks like now there really are very few of us left. And we will have to go through this game in smaller numbers. I see only one guy nearby, and it looks like this means that there are only two of us left in this school. We were sent to class for punishment again, but this time it was really just the two of us with this guy. Okay, it looks like now we need to find some way to get out of this room. I think with the help of the crowbar we have in our inventory, 
We can open one of the windows and escape from here. Great idea. I think we'll do it. Cool. Me and this guy got out to the playground and now we can have fun here instead of serving time in a boring dark room. That's great, but I hope no one catches us here. I think we can go swinging! Oh no! Wait, what's going on? Oh no, it's that creepy blue bunny! And it looks like he's finally found us! Oh my god, that guy's face looks seriously creepy! Okay, it looks like we're going to have to run from him as fast as we can! Looks like now we'll have to run away from him through this giant multicolored pipe! Okay, I really hope that the guy running after us will actually make it in time and won't be caught by this hair. And by the way, we have coffee. I think we should use it to make us run even faster. This escape also lasted the longest. We just ran along multicolored pipes in a direction unknown to us. But this hair couldn't catch up with us. We also decided to speed up this moment, especially for you. I finally see a way out! We finally got to some forest! Okay, it looks like now we can run away in an unknown direction and this hare definitely won't catch up with us. Cool, I'm really glad that we managed to escape from him. But now I'll be extremely scared to go back to school. I think we will continue the adventures around our school in the next part if our subscribers like this game. But for now, I think it's time to move straight to the next game. This is the same game about the nasty red-haired guy with a lot of pimples. God, he always irritated me. I think he smells really badly of sweat. I hope that this is not so, because it seems to me that in such a case in real life, absolutely no one would want to communicate with him. Okay. We escaped from the first location with this school bully, and now we are running further. Oh no, I accidentally tripped and fell down. Okay, it looks like this game will be a little harder to beat. At least I'm sure of it, because this game really looks very difficult. I don't think it's as complicated as you say. The main thing now is to just concentrate on jumping on these books and move forward. By the way, we got to some very interesting location. These hands look extremely creepy. I feel uneasy in this place. I didn't think that such a location could scare you. It doesn't look scary at all. It looks unusual because there are huge pencils and huge rulers here. But the design of this game is really different from other games. I really like how everything looks here. Okay, now we need to run forward and we got to some huge staircase made of markers. A ladder made of markers? Okay, this looks really weird. Wait, seriously? These markers disappear after we touch them. Okay, this is starting to scare me a little. It's great that there are a lot of checkpoints in this game because thanks to them, it's much easier for us to get through this game. And by the way, we were just hit by this huge hand. I didn't even notice it at first because it moved too abruptly. I think you should be a little more careful in this game because there are really quite a lot of things like this that can stop us from completing this game. Okay, we've reached the next vent and it looks like we've entered a room where we'll need to use these desks to jump over the fence. I really like these kinds of tests. They remind me of the tests with the planks in Barry's prison escape. And by the way, these desks are placed in a rather strange way. They have very strange physics, but now we will need to use it to jump into this ventilation. Okay, we passed this test pretty quickly today. It turned out not to be that difficult, and now we found ourselves in a room with that same school bully, and we need to press a button so that this door opens and we can run through it further to the location where we will escape from this guy. By the way, we've already gone through quite a large part of this game, and now, we need to concentrate on not falling into this lava and just moving forward. But by the way, we already accidentally fell into it once. I hope I won't repeat this again. We passed this lava. It was pretty easy. And we finally got through it. Okay, now we found ourselves in some strange tower where we jump on erasers and climb up. It's so funny that we can jump so high with erasers! Oh no, looks like we should have waited for that platform to come out of the wall! I can jump on it! I think I won't make such mistakes again! I really hope so too! You need to be more attentive in this game. It seems to me that today you are absolutely not focused on it. Yeah, I think so too! Maybe it's because I had a really fun weekend, and now my head is filled with too many memories of it. 
Okay, I think I should at least stop thinking about it for a while while we continue to go through this test. Now we need to jump on these lockers and books to the top. By the way, this is also extremely strange that they are hanging in the air. It is quite possible that now we have found ourselves in some strange magic school. Okay, now we need to move on. Lord, just look at all the decorations here. This is a really giant head of this guy with snot hanging down again. God, I think if I looked at it a little longer, I would definitely throw up. Good thing we were able to move on, and now we have to go down. Let's go down quickly. I'm very interested to see what will happen next in this game. Oh, no. Unfortunately, we couldn't go down this way. We need to be a little more careful. By the way, we've actually died in this game five times already, and I think that's too many. It seems like that's even more than we died the last time we played it. Looks like I'm really absent-minded today. Okay, we need to move on. And now we're surrounded by some big amount of lava again. I still can't figure out why someone would add lava to a school, but it looks like it's for the children's education or something. I don't know. I can't think of any logical explanation. Oh, no. I can't stand this kind of test. Here we have to wait near each platform so that we don't get crushed by these pencils. But now we are lucky and we were able to pass this test. Okay, let's just go forward. We need to run further. And this test I think is pretty hard because it's really quite a challenge to get past these swinging things. Okay, we've passed it and now we have to jump over all these weird spinning lasers. I really like the huge amount of challenges in this game. They are actually much more fun and interesting than the challenges in Barry's Prison Escape. There are practically no free territories where we just run and do nothing else. By the way, okay, now we have reached some button and it looks like it has activated some mechanism. Look, it opened the door. Well, okay, now we will run there too. Yes, I completely agree with you. This game is really filled with various tests that are almost never repeated, and I really like it. Okay, now we need to run further, and now we ran into some strange location in which we need to press buttons to open a secret passage. In fact, this test looked much more difficult, but it seems that we were able to cope with it easily. I wouldn't call this passage secret because it's visible to absolutely everyone, and there's even a huge green arrow above it. Okay. We've reached some kind of test where there are basketballs and we need to get past them so that they don't knock us down. We passed this with ease! Okay, and now it looks like we are going to have a final meeting with the final boss. And I really hope that we won't have problems defeating him. This guy really pisses me off and I really want to kill him as soon as possible. By the way, just look at that gun. It's extremely fast firing. I think you definitely shouldn't have any problems defeating this guy because all the shells hit him pretty fast and deal him damage very quickly. Cool! We finally managed to defeat him! This fight was quite interesting, but this guy turned out to be extremely unstable. Okay, our character danced the winner's dance, and right now, we are going with you straight to the next game. This game really looks pretty weird. Here we need to change clothes of these funny guys with the help of these tools, and they will play different music. By the way, we have a pretty interesting composition. I really like the way it sounds. It sounds like some cool hip hop. And I really like this beat. It sounds super cool. In fact, this game is super cool. I want to hear all the possible sounds that are in this game. I think we should really try to hear all the sounds that are here. By the way, this blue bear sound is very weak. I don't like it. I think we should add something else here. I think this sunny guy makes two cute sounds. We should definitely remove him and try to add something new here that will perfectly complement our composition. This purple guy looks pretty sad, but the sounds he makes are really boring. I think we should add the yellow guy here. By the way, just listen to the cool sounds he adds here. I think we should leave him here. Yeah, this guy really fits our composition perfectly. Now I think we should change the guy who will be at the very end. But now we added this white guy. But I don't really like the sounds of barking dogs. It feels like they don't fit here. I think you're right. We really should replace those barking dog sounds with something else. 
like this computer. But this computer sings the sweetest song ever. I'd like to add something else. One, we added some other guy, and he also adds some pretty weird sounds here. But actually, I like these sounds much more than all the others. Okay, now I think we should replace the second to last guy with some other guy. By the way, this new guy we added here looks a lot like some popular artists. I really like the way they look. I think they added quite a bit of energy to our music. But still, this guy should be replaced with someone else. I think we should find something that will give us a cool drum beat. And by the way, we already added the purple guy and that tree here. I think we should add something else here that can add a really cool atmosphere. Yes, I think that's exactly why this tree doesn't fit here at all. But by the way, this yellow guy didn't fit here perfectly either. And we haven't listened to this guy yet. It looks like he's just whistling. And it seems to me that this sound isn't particularly suitable for us either because it's too quiet. Okay, I think we've heard almost all the sounds in this game. We've got one last blue guy left, and it looks like he's just a regular guy in a hood who's singing in a choir. And now we're using the last instrument, and that's a weird black hat. Well, let's try. I hope this weird black hat... Wait, why did everything go dark? Oh no, my God! What's going on here? Just look at these creepy faces and these creepy eyes in the background. My God, I'm so scared of what's going on here. Just look at this creepy background. Okay, I guess now we should add some new emotions here. Wait, what's going on? Why does he look different? There's blood coming out of his eyes and we can see his heart. I'm really getting extremely scared from what's happening here. Lord, just look at all these creepy faces. I'm really getting extremely scared from what I see here. I want to run away from here as soon as possible. This guy with the drum symbol on his head really scares me a lot because this symbol looks really scary. God, just look at how it all looks. These guys are really bleeding from all over the place. Where could this be coming from? And it scares me a lot. But to be fair, the melody we have is actually quite interesting. So let's just concentrate on making music and having fun with it. Yes. I also really like what we are doing today, but in fact, I am very much scared of this atmosphere. The faces of these guys really look very scary, and I would not want to stay here for a long time. I also think that we should somehow quickly cope with the fact that we can escape from here. By the way, all the faces of the guys that we add here look extremely creepy. They look much creepier than we have seen them before. Yes? The faces of these guys really do inspire great fear, especially the faces of the guys who have blood flowing from their eyes. It seems to me that this is really a huge problem. I would not really want to see them. Okay, let's try to distract ourselves from what's going on here and just try to concentrate on the fact that we now just need to create some interesting melody that will sound cool. I think this sun with the eye doesn't suit us at all. It looks extremely strange. Yes, it watches all the people in a very creepy way. Okay, I don't like the melody that was there before. We should try adding someone else here. I think we'll add a new character here. I don't like that purple guy either. By the way, this tree looks extremely creepy because there's a notice on it that says a child is missing. Yes, indeed. It scares me very much. And by the way, the sound coming from this tree is quite strange. It reminds me of some melody that I heard before, but I can't figure out what it is. Okay, we definitely have to remove this tree and add something else instead. I think we should add a whistling guy here. By the way, just look at how he looks. It looks like he has some kind of hole in his head. Maybe someone shot this guy, but the sound he makes sounds pretty interesting. Oh my God! Everything that happens in this game really looks extremely creepy, okay? Now we've added this computer and some creepy words are constantly being written on it. It says here that we should escape from here, but I don't understand how we can do it. Well, to be honest, I don't really like the sound that the computer makes. That's why I think we should add some new guy. By the way, just look. This is the same guy who was a killer in one of the games we played recently. He also made some pretty interesting sounds. But now we should add a pink rabbit here. By the way, this pink rabbit reminds me of Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus. But to be honest, he 
will see the most creepy. Just look at his gaze and, in principle, at his eyes. And now we've added this blue guy here, and as far as I remember, what he does is he sings choral singing. To be honest, it seems to me that this sound doesn't really suit our current composition. We should basically change the whole melody in this game. Yes, I also think that we need to completely change the melody. I would really like to make some kind of maximally calm melody that will not be so fast and tense because the previous melody made me feel creepy. By the way, the sound of this guy, he is extremely strange and we have already heard how he sounds. We had him at the very beginning of the game, but I don't think we should add him here. But I really like the sound of this white guy. I don't understand why we added the sound of this tree. It sounds really stupid. But it seems like you want to collect all the calmest sounds in this game, and in principle, maybe it will sound really interesting. Yes, I want to collect music based on this concept. It seems to me that it could work great. But it seems to me that the sound of this yellow sun is not suitable here at all, because every song to which we add the yellow sun becomes maximally childish. I think we should replace it with something else. Okay, I think this sound fits perfectly. In fact, I think we've already put together a pretty calm melody. We did it pretty great. In general, this game is very scary, so let's move on straight to the next game. God, the atmosphere at the very beginning of this game already scares me. And it looks like we're going to be very scared here today. Oh my God, we found ourselves in some kind of scary barn, and it looks like a maniac is hunting everyone here. Okay, this was the first floor we visited, and now we will move on. Oh my God. I am so scared to be in this elevator. There is some weird music playing and a really creepy seal drawn on the floor. I am really curious to see who will be on the next floor. This is another maniac, and it looks like we will need to find a way to avoid him. By the way, it looks like in this game we need to collect some coins. I really want to know what we can spend these coins on in the future. I think there should be some kind of store or something like that in this game. By the way, we got into this maniac's house but it looks like it's completely empty and there's nothing useful in it. By the way, all the other players managed to pick up the coins before us and it looks like there are no more coins left for us. By the way, it seems to me that we can simply jump on the closet to hide from this maniac. It seems to me that he does not have the ability to get here. Okay, we were able to survive on this floor and it seems that we get some points for each survival. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. Here is the next floor, and it looks like we got into some kind of labyrinth. Okay, let's quickly explore it and see what awaits us here. By the way, the sounds in this location are much scarier than in the previous one. Okay, we found some kind of coin, but it looks like it needs to be collected only to get the achievement. By the way, judging by the sounds, someone was just killed. Okay, it looks like here we are not destined to pick up new coins either. But to be honest, I really want to see this maniac. Looks like we found a coin and a maniac, and now this maniac is running after us. Okay, looks like we have no chance to escape from him, and he really killed us. Okay, I think this coin was worth it. Okay, now we're off to the next floor, and now I think we need to travel through another labyrinth. It seems to me that we should definitely get lucky here, and here we should collect some coins. Looks like we finally got to the level where we can still find some coins. Okay, now we just need to keep running along these corridors. And the most important thing is not to meet the maniac, because I really don't want to die again. I think we won't die here because there are quite a few ways through which we can escape from this maniac. But in fact, all the maniacs in this game move much faster than us, and that's why it's dangerous to stay here. I think we'd better go back to the elevator. Great! We managed to survive here. I am very happy about this. We have already accumulated 332 coins, and I think we should go to the next floor. And here we are finally on the next floor. It looks like a huge labyrinth is waiting for us here too. Okay, I hope that we will be lucky here and we will not meet the boss either. I really want to collect the maximum amount of coins here. I think we went the wrong way the first time, but now we got to some coin that also gives us a new achievement. By the way, it looks like we accumulate coins here just for walking around the labyrinth. Oh no, bro, leave me alone. I don't really want to die on this floor because I like it here. 
But I don't think we have a chance to escape from this guy today. Unfortunately, he still caught up with us and killed us. Okay, now I think we should try to go to the store and buy something for the coins we collected. We have enough money for this rainbow spring. Great! With the help of this spring, we can run much faster, and it seems to me that this movement speed will be enough for us to escape from most bosses. I'm so glad about that. Finally, we have something that will really help us avoid encounters with these maniacs because they